guys, what's going on? It's Massive Joe's Raw Review, and I'm coming to you from MassiveJoe's.com. Awesome! Raw review for the viewers at home today. One of the most anticipated raw reviews on one of the most anticipated strength-based pre-workout supplements we have seen thus far. From our good friends at Isatori and the Superman from Compton, C.T. Fletcher, it is a course. It's still your mother set in the house. Let's get straight into it, show you guys exactly what's in it too, exactly what it's going to do. That nutritional information panel, there's a lot of ingredients in this ISYMFS is still your motherfucking set. I prefer, you know what, I don't like saying ISYMFS. I'm going to roll with this still your motherfucking set for the rest of this raw review. There's a lot of ingredients in that is still your motherfucking set. That nutritional information panel ain't going to get it done. We're about to go balls deep. In this here, it's still your mother set. Luckily, got ourselves a big ass nutritional information panel for the viewers at home. Starting from the top, and what we're gonna do, there's two columns here, viewers at home. This column is the pushy cat column, which is the one scoop column. This column is the uh, fellas uh, column, or the pushy cats who are not here to spiders column, the two scoops. So let's one off. Let's roll with this one, the two scoop column. That's where we're going to direct our attention. Starting from the top, serving size two scoops, 11 grams. Got yourself about 20 of them two scoop, 11 gram bitches in one of these. I still your mother set 20 serve bitches. In terms of what the two scoops is made up of, starting from the top, Calories, you can see there's 10 calories and they're coming primarily from carbohydrates. The two grams of carbs is coming from maltodextrin. That's why there's no sugar in there. If you do a quick summation and you add up all of these active ingredients in this second column here, you'll quickly discover that the 11 gram two scoop serve does contain about 22% flavors and colors. And then we get into the good stuff. So starting down here, viewers at home, the max force strength complex, 7.15 grams in total, broken down into beta alanine, carnosine beta alanine, the best beta alanine we've seen thus far. That's in there for anti-fatigue, gonna buffer them fatigue toxins, man, help you train like a wild bull for a longer period of time. Unfortunately, it is, it is about 50% underdosed, even in the two scoop serve, because you need about 3.2 grams of carnosine and beta alanine to be efficaciously or clinically dosed. There's only 2.4 grams in two scoops of this is still your mother set. Moving right along, we've then got HBLC verified creatine monohydrate. So it's a very high quality creatine monohydrate without being the patented Crea Pure. 2,000 milligrams in the two scoops, sir. Viewers at home who are aware would know creatine monohydrate and different types of creatine. Going to help with muscle power, help you get more reps, more sets with more weight, help you stimulate them gains. Once again, unfortunately, it's underdosed in the two scoops, sir, because we all know we need five full grams of creatine monohydrate. There's only two full grams in the two, two scoops, sir, of this is still your mother set. Moving right along, we then get into betaine anhydrous in the 1.5 gram serve. That is correctly dosed. That is efficaciously dosed. That's in there for hydration and muscle power. Works really well in conjunction with creatine and different types of creatine for muscle power. Moving right along, we then got isocrete. The HPLC verified creatine hydrochloride, my, per hydrochloride, my personal favorite type of creatine in the 1000 milligram dose. Now that is correctly dosed. That is efficaciously dosed. That therefore almost offsets the fact that the monohydrate's underdosed because you're getting about 40% of an efficacious dose of monohydrate and then a full clinical dose of hydrochloride. So synergistically, you're getting enough creatine for, to help with muscle power. Moving right along. We then got the ancient peat apple extract, LFATP, in the full clinical 150 milligram dose. That does the exact same thing as what creatine does, except it's not a precursor to ATP. It actually is ATP. So it circumvents uh, creatine. Once again, going to help with muscle power, help with more reps, moving that lightweight like bags of feathers, baby. Moving right along, we then get into the psychoactive energy complex, 1.45 total grams. 
made up of, firstly, a combination of 500 milligrams of N-acetyl L-tyrosine combined with 500 milligrams of choline bitrate. The combination of N-acetyl L-tyrosine, aka NALT, and choline and choline substrates is really good for mental focus. One of my personal favorite one-two punches for mental focus. In terms of the dosages, they're both pretty high. They're not the highest that we've seen, but N-acetyl L-tyrosine 500 milligrams is, is a decent dose. Choline 500 milligrams, I would go so far as to consider a clinical dose, so they are very well dosed. Moving right along, we then get into our stimulant blends, combining 300, to, uh, 300 milligrams of caffeine anhydrous with 75 milligrams of caffeine citrate with 50 milligrams of dicaffeine malate in Finergy, which yields about 70% caffeine, so an extra 35 milligrams of caffeine combined with, uh, uh, with ma uh, malic acid in the dicaffeine malate in Finergy blend, and it is the patented Infinity Blend, the best dicaffeine malate we have seen thus far. And then finally, 25 milligrams of theocrine, the patented registered tea cream form of theocrine. Now, theocrine is actually really cool. Structurally, and Dilip, you can, Dilip the cutting specialist is going to cut up a, uh, an image on screen right now. Structurally, Theocrine is very similar to caffeine. It's not caffeine, but very similar to caffeine. And because of that, it acts very similarly to caffeine. It's obviously a central nervous system stimulant. The kind of benefits of theocrine that, that theocrine has over just standard caffeine anhydrous is you, uh, you don't build up a tolerance to it. So in the studies that they've done, there's no kind of uh, tolerance or, or stimulant tolerance that builds up to theocrine or not to the same uh, extent as you build up a tolerance to caffeine. Then you don't build up a tolerance as quickly to theocrine as you do to caffeine. You don't crash on theocrine and you don't get the jitters uh, side effect that a lot of people can get with taking too much caffeine. The issue with it is, back to the nutritional information panel, in this it's still your mother set is a clinical or efficacious dose of theocrine is 200 milligrams. There's only 25 milligrams of theocrine in the two scoop serve in the still your mother set. Moving right along, we then got Bioparin, the trademarked registered black pepper fruit extract in the, the full five milligram dose, which is in there to help your body absorb all of the active ingredients in this is still your mother set. Got yourself some artificial colors, artificial flavors. And that's what's in it. So you can see, I said when I, when I started this raw review that this was one of the most anticipated strength-based pre-workout supplements we have seen thus far. Obviously, based on the nutritional information panel and what is actually in this is still your mother set, it's quite easy to see this is primarily based on strength. This is a strength training pre-workout. This is a strength-based pre-training pre-workout supplement that's designed to increase muscle power with a bit of mental focus, a shitload of energy from caffeine and different types of caffeine, missing a couple of things that, that, that you would expect from a full, uh, a, a full complete pre-workout. Obviously, the biggest glaringly obvious thing that's missing is any ingredient that's gonna help with muscle pump. The only thing that is gonna kinda almost help with muscle pump as a, as a, as a side effect is the betaine in there, but that's primarily a strength and power-based pre-workout ingredient so you're not going to expect to get a bunch of muscle pump off this it is it is truly a strength based power based pre-workout supplement in terms of how it tastes how it mixes comes in four flavors comes in blue raspberry comes in fruit punch comes in watermelon comes in my personal favorite, the tub that I happen to have here, which is my personal, my personal supply of is still your mother set. That there sweet, sweet mango breeze. In terms of how, of, of how it mixes and how it tastes, we got the infamous Massive Joe's Taste and Mixability Test about to go down. Got the double wall glass up in this bitch. Gonna take myself, because we're not dealing with a lot of water here, I'm just gonna take one scoop of this is still your mother set to demonstrate how it mixes and then refresh my memory on how this mango tastes man. Got myself one scoop of it's still your mother set. Gonna drop this bitch in this bitch and let it rain, let it rain. A few flicks of the wrist. Let me show you guys how it mixes. 
And I'm gonna refresh my memory on how this mango breeze tastes. Man. That's enough. So you guys can see that's pretty damn well mixed, man. There's no floaters, there's no sinkers. There's nothing floating through the middle. There's no debris, there's no residue. I would go so far as to say blender ball is not required. For this here, Isatori CT Fletcher is still your mother set. Let me refresh my memory on how this mango breeze tastes, man. Oh yeah, Isatori have come through with the goods on this one. Yes sir, Isatori have come through with the goods on this one. Which is a good thing because Isatori have up flavors in the past. <laughs> that's this, just, just the truth. Some of their amino acid flavors have been a little bit off. Uh, flavors of their other supplements have been a little bit off. But they really have, they, they've gone all out for this, uh, it's still your mother set because all of the flavors are really good not too sweet not too not over not too overpowering and the fact that they've been able to do it with 22 percent flavor and color it's not a lot especially for a pre-workout supplement is really really impressive if i had to rank the flavors in my personal preference mango definitely is the best after mango is probably blue raspberry then watermelon, then fruit punch. The fruit punch is an American fruit punch, which for us Australians, man, just does not work for our taste buds. In terms of the effects. Because that's what you're taking the shit for, man. Because you know it's still your motherfucking set. And you got CT in the back of your mind over here, man, saying, Curl! Curl! <laughs> and all that other motivational shit that CT be, uh, be spilling on you, man. Let me put it to you guys this way. There's a, there's a, there's a, there, my expectations with this pre-workout supplement were, uh, were pretty high. I had pretty high expectations because on paper, if you take away the fact that there's nothing in there for muscle pump. So you just remove the fact that you know you're not gonna get a muscle pump, and you don't. You don't get muscle pump from, from this pre-workout supplement, it just doesn't exist. So take that off the table. Based on the ingredients, it looks like it should be a very, very good pre-workout supplement for a lot of energy, like a shitload of energy, really good mental focus, and spectacular muscle power. For like strength base, if you're going in, you're doing a heavy bench session, a heavy squat session, uh, a heavy deadlift session, you should be able to go to the gym and rip that motherfucker to pieces on this is still your motherfucking set. That's that, that on paper, that's what it looks like. So my expectations were very high. The only issue I had when figuring out how to take this pre-workout supplement was for me, my limit with caffeine is about 300 milligrams, man. That's my personal limit. If I go over 300 milligrams, I know it's gonna have the, the, the opposite effect on me. It's gonna make me sleepy. It's gonna make me feel like shit. It's gonna make me crash post-workout because it's too much caffeine in a short period of time. So my dilemma was, I'm not gonna be able to take the full two scoop dose because I'm gonna be dealing with over 400 milligrams of total caffeine in two scoops. So I'm gonna to have to dose it down to about one and a half scoops or about eight grams. But if I dose it down to about eight grams, I know that I'm getting a significantly reduced dose of beta alanine a significantly reduced dose of creatine monohydrate and creatine hydrochloride, a significantly reduced dose of everything in there. The L of ATP is not going to be efficacious. The, uh, the, um, the betaine and hydra is not going to be efficacious. The choline and N-acetyl tyrosine is not going to be efficacious. So it's almost, for me, it's a trade-off between do I want to overstimulate in which fact I know that it's gonna have a bad effect on me because over 400 milligrams of caffeine and me do not mix. Or do I go one and a half scoops, get the caffeine to about 300 milligrams, which I know is a sweet spot for me, and then sacrifice the efficacious dosing of all the other ingredients in this is still your mother set. So I took option B, I dosed it down. I've trained on this uh, is still your mother set at least five times now, and every time I've done it, I've hit that sweet spot with the caffeine and gone, you know what, 
Okay, I'm just gonna have to sacrifice the efficacious dosing of all of the other ingredients in it because I know that if I go over that caffeine, it's just not gonna be a good workout. So that's what I've done. I've done one and a half scoops or eight to nine grams for each of the workouts that, that, that I've done. And the things that I've noticed are pretty much exactly what I would expect to notice. The energy was really good. The energy felt like I, I had 300 milligrams of caffeine, which is my sweet spot of caffeine. The mental focus was not quite there because obviously we're giving up a bit of dosing of the choline and the n tyrosine, but it was decent. The muscle power was decent. It wasn't quite there uh, because we're giving up the efficacious dosing to have to hit that sweet spot with stimulants. So for me and my personal experience with the Still Your Motherfucking Set, it wasn't what I expected it to be. I was expecting a lot more, but because of how I was taking it, I wasn't really surprised on my personal experiences what I had with it. So the way that I would recommend that this is, it's, it's, it really is, it's, it's a tricky one because of that decision you have to make of overstimulating versus underdosing of efficacious ingredients. If you're the sort of person that can take 400 milligrams of caffeine and train spectacularly and not crash, and that's like the 400 milligrams of caffeine is your sweet spot, and you're looking for a power-based pre-workout that's gonna help you get more reps, more sets, personal best lifts on bench press, squat, deadlifts, your big heavy lifts, big heavy compound lifts, then it's still your mother set is going to be a spectacular pre-workout supplement for you. Absolutely no question about it. It's going to be awesome. If you're like me and you can't tolerate that much caffeine and you got to remember caffeine is the only stimulant in this, in this, there's no cinephrine, there's no hortanine, there's no hygienamine, there's no amp citrate. It's just caffeine and different types of caffeine. The theocrine in there is in there, but it's, it's one tenth of dosing. It's 10%, it may as well not be in there. So you're just dealing with caffeine. If you're like me and you can't tolerate 400 milligrams of caffeine, you're gonna be sacrificing the efficacious dosing of everything else in that it's still your mother set. And my personal experience with it is it, it, it wasn't what I expected it to be because of that fact. And I think really that's probably the best piece of advice that I can give you viewers at home is if you can tolerate the high levels of stims, throw down two scoops of this is still your mother set. It's going to be a fantastic pre-workout supplement for you. It's going to deliver you really good value for money in the Australian uh, supplement marketplace as well. If you can't tolerate that much caffeine, it's probably not going to be the best pre-workout supplement for you because you're going to have to give up the efficacious dosing of all of the other ingredients in this. It's still your mother set. Guys, hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, man. Stay up to date with all the latest editions of Massive Joe's Raw Review and all the other deliciousness in our YouTube channel. And guys, that is Massive Joe's Raw Review on the all new Isatori CT Fletcher. It's still your motherfucking set in the house. And I'm coming to you from MassiveJoes.com. Stay massive. MassiveJoes.com, the biggest supplier of isotory on the f***ing continent. Get your shit from Massive Joes, mother mm. Stay massive, mother